EZ, MetaTrader, to Telegram Signals Provider Expert, which is offered for various platforms, on the Trading Finder website. From this section, you can download the expert file for the MetaTrader 4 and MetaTrader 5 platforms and run it on the chart. Additionally, traders can read this page to understand how the expert functions and operates. From In the Navigator section, we select the expert file and execute the expert by dragging the file onto the chart. We enter the input section, and in the first part, there is the bot token option, where we can enter the bot token of the bot we created in Telegram. In the next section, there is the chat ID option. If we want the messages to be sent to us personally, we enter the personal chat ID. If we have added the bot to a channel and want the messages to be sent to the channel, we enter the channel's chat ID. If we want the messages to be sent to a group, we enter the group's chat ID. Here, I carefully enter the bot token. Ensuring accuracy, along with the unique chat ID, and then I proceed to click on the confirm option to finalize the process. To receive signals from MetaTrader to Telegram, we activate the last two options in the Expert section, under the Tools menu, in the Options section. In the URL section, I enter the link related to Telegram, and then I click on the Confirm option. In the Expert panel, there are three tabs available for us, where we can enable or disable the message sending status in the first tab. In the next section, if we make any changes in the panel, we can save the changes. And in the last tab, if we have made any changes, we can revert it to the default state by clicking on this option. In the next section, there are different expert modes and its customization options, which include open trade, close trade, update stop loss, update take profit, partial exit, open pending order, delete pending order, update pending order, and by default it is set to open trade. In this section we can view the messages related to open trades here. And in this section we can select and modify the message text from one line to 12 lines. And by clicking on the clear option we can reset it to the default state. Here I execute a trade and we can see that its message has been sent to me in this section. Where on the first line, the word symbol appears, allowing us to see the desired term. In the next section, inside the braces, the symbol value is placed, which displays the trading symbol, and here it is GBPUSD. In the next section, the phrase trade type is present and the type value, where we can see the type of position it in this section. In the next line, the phrase entry, along with the entry value is present, and in the subsequent sections, the phrases stop loss, take profit, and finally time are placed. With the closure, the trade is closed for me here, and a closing message is sent. When messages are replied to within Telegram, the message related to each trade is displayed for us and a reply is made to it. Here, we see that the trade A uh, has been opened for us in this section, and in the next section, when we close the trade, its message was sent to us and replied to. If we want to make changes to any text, we can click on each text to change the values, or by clicking on this option, we can add or reduce an amount. Here, I am adding a word. I will remove the phrase inside and in the first part of my phrase I want to use mo emojis. There are values placed on the site 
that we can use for changes in settings. Here, it is displayed to me in text form, which includes emoji values, account values, and finally trade values. In the first section, we can enter the uh, emoji values. In the second section, the account values are present, which include balance, equity, leverage, currency, account name, server name, and finally company name. In the trade values section, there are time frames, which include GMT, local, server, and various values such as symbol, entry, close, stop loss, take profit, and point, which shows the price movement from the entry point to the closing of the trade. We have percent, which is the volume percentage, and shows the amount exited in partial close. In the next section, there is the volume amount, which by setting this amount displays the trade volume for us. In the following section, there is the profit, and finally, the ARB, RR, or risk reward is placed. In the line I created, I want to place an emoji, and here I choose the money emoji, which I can enter manually or place based on the values provided on the site, which is placed here with the curly brace, money, curly brace, symbol. I copy this phrase. And I enter the money emoji. In the next section, I choose the phrase I want to be sent to me, where I write the word volume here, and finally, I enter the amount. I want to be calculated here. I want it to display the volume values for me, and finally, I save the changes I made. In the Open Trade section, I made changes that will be displayed to me. Whenever a trade is opened, the line I created here includes the money emoji, the word volume, and finally, the volume amount is also placed in this section. In different modes like Wo, Close Trade, there are default settings. In the first line, there is either the bell emoji, the phrase Close Trade, and finally, the bell emoji is placed. We can see this phrase in this section or by closing a trade we had opened. We can also observe it in this section. In the next line, the entry price is listed along with the entry point amount. In the next section, there is the phrase close price and the close amount. In the following section, there is the move point which shows the price movement amount until the price is closed. In the next section, there is the phrase time which is displayed based on local time. In the subsequent states, there are update stop loss, pass, update take profit, Partial close, open pending, delete pending, and finally update pending. For example, here I am placing a pending order. You can see the pending phrases here, which include the symbol phrase, pe, symbol value, try type, type value, entry by Entry value. Stop loss along with other items placed here. In this section, I updated my pending order, and by moving it, it displays values for me, entering the update pending state. In the first line, there is a title for me that includes a bell emoji, the phrase update pending order along with a bell emoji, which we can see the title here. In the next line, there is an arrow emoji along with a bar C emoji. We can observe it here. The phrase new entry along with the entry value. New stop loss along with new take profit and emojis. And finally, the local time is displayed. By running the expert on one symbol, we can also execute trades on different symbols. 
and the trade message will be sent to us. For example, I executed a trade on the Zaust symbol and we can see that the message has been sent to me in this section or upon closing the trade. Here we can observe the trade closure message and we can also see the delete pending. Here, if we want the messages to be sent to us in a group or channel. For example, inside a group. We place the bot token and in the chat ID section, we enter the chat ID of the group where the message is located. In this section, I enter the chat ID, which starts with a negative sign, and then I click on the confirm option. By executing the trade, we see a message is sent to us inside the group. When the trade is closed, it replies to the sent message and displays the trade closing signal. Additionally, traders can run the expert on a separate symbol for better performance and have their trades on other symbols. This feature provides traders with the ability to send all executed trading signals from the MetaTrader platform to the Telegram platform. Well, friends, we have reached the end of this expert advisor tutorial. I would be happy if you share your comments, click, and suggestions with us in the I comment section.